I wanted to share with you a great new Canvas LTI that we have available for the GAL Research resources in Utah's online library. This is a great way for teachers to be able to share content from GAL's research databases in their Canvas pages. Before you can do this, you will need to make sure that your district has this installed on your Canvas instance or that your school has it installed on their instance. So if you do not see these buttons in your Canvas course, you'll need to contact them. And if they don't have the information, they can contact us here at UEN and we can get it to them. So here's really quick what this looks like and what teachers can do uh, to make use of this. I've created a page in Canvas called Gale Example. And I will click on this and you will see that I have content here from the Gale Encyclopedia of Science that is embedded right into my Canvas course. So how did I get this here? Well, let me click on Edit and show you uh, how to put it in there. Uh, I'm going to first of all erase the content that I put in there. Uh, I am in the Rich Content Editor and when you drop down on this button you will see that I have installed these various LTIs for each database that Gell has that we can use in the state of Utah. So for example, uh, the Science in Context, if I click on that it's going to open up a preview window for me. Uh, into the database and I see a topic on the featured topics for Saturn here I can explore that topic and see a short overview of that now any of this content can be embedded into the canvas course either the featured content references images video and here's what it looks like in doing so I'll click read more just on this overview of Saturn and then when I come down to the document I can click embed document and I'll put it right into the canvas course so then I can just hit save and it's there for me so great easy way to get that information in there I'll show you once again with one other example so to get rid of this the best way is just to flip over to the HTML editor delete that code flip back over to the HTML editor and now I'm going to pull something from Kids Info Bits. This is for the younger students. So you see I can navigate through the different pictures. And let's find an animal here. We'll click on birds. And let's look at owls. Okay, so I'm going to go to this document on owls. And I want to put this into my course. And I'll just hit Embed Document. And then Save It and then all that content for owls is embedded right there in my course and you get a lot of the same tools that you get uh, with if just as if you're directly in the Gale resource itself you can click this to listen it will read the text to you and uh, even up here in tools you have some options to uh, highlight items and also make notes and that is saved within the context of the the browser itself uh, it's not saved for everyone else in the course so it'd be only for the the browser that's open so anyways that is what I want to share with you on this new Gel LTI and I hope it is of use to you in developing your canvas course